Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1434. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about consumer confidence jumping in November. Now, consumer confidence is what we look at to monitor how the consumer is feeling about spending. And this often indicates whether we're headed for better times ahead or a recession. Recently, the scuttlebutt seems to be that the consumer isn't spending as much and that the retailers have been starting their Christmas sales early. I see evidence of that all around, but this consumer confidence survey shows us something else about the consumer. And that is that consumer confidence actually improved in November on top of improving in October. Consumer confidence jumped to 111.7, up 2.1 points from 109.6 in October, which is the top of the range that has prevailed over the last two years. According to Dana Peterson, chief economist at the conference board, November's increase was mainly driven by more positive consumer assessments of the present situation, particularly regarding the labor market. Compared to October, consumers were also substantially more optimistic about future job availability, which reached its highest level in almost three years. Meanwhile, consumers' expectations about future business conditions were unchanged, and they were slightly less positive about future income. Now, there are differences by age group. There was a large jump in confidence for consumers under age 35 years old. Meanwhile, confidence among consumers 35 to 54 slightly declined after surging last month. But all income groups reported higher confidence except those at the very top earning level, that is, those who earn over $125,000, and the very bottom earning level, which is those earning less than $15,000. On a six-month moving average basis, households aged under 35 whose earnings were over $100,000 remained the most confident. Peterson added, the proportion of consumers anticipating a recession over the next 12 months fell further in November and was the lowest since we first asked the question in July of 2022. Consumers' assessment of their family's current financial situation fell slightly, but optimism for their finances over the next six months reached a new high. Consumers became even more optimistic about the stock market. 56.4% of consumers expected stock prices to increase next year, another record high for this measure. Only 21.3% expected stock prices to decline, and the share of consumers expecting higher interest rates over the next 12 months declined to 43.6%. Those expecting lower rates increased to 34.6%, the highest since April of 2020. Perhaps they've been listening to the Be Wealthy and Smart podcast because I've been talking about interest rates dropping not only in December, around December 16th when the Fed meets, but also a full point next year in 2025. Meanwhile, for inflation expectations, they declined from 5.3% last month to 4.9% in November when looking out for 12 months. This was the lowest since March of 2020. What consumers seemed to be concerned about was higher taxes, wars, and conflict, and social unrest. And consumers overwhelmingly want lower prices as their top wish for the new year. Consumers would also like to be able to save more money, pay lower taxes, and pay off debt. When looking at purchasing plans for homes, they were lower in November, while purchasing plans for cars were up slightly. Also, consumer buying plans for most appliances and electronics were lower. Regarding services, consumer spending was little changed, but they plan to spend a bit less in most categories going forward, except for travel and health care. When looking at business conditions, 21.3% of consumers said business conditions were good, which was down from 22% in October, and 15.3% said business conditions were bad, which was down from 16.7% in October. 
When looking at the labor market, it seemed to improve. 33.4% said jobs were plentiful, down from 34.1% in October, and 15.2% of consumers said jobs were hard to get, which was less than last month's 17.6%. When looking at their income prospects, 19% of consumers expected their incomes to increase, down slightly in October, and 11.8% expected their incomes to decrease, which was about the same as October. The good news is most people realize the economy is pretty robust and the perceived likelihood of a U.S. recession over the next 12 months fell to a new low in November. So these statistics are very important for us to keep track of and make sure that they're going in the right direction. As the consumer feels more confident about spending and their income and the stability of their job, they're more likely to spend on things like travel, healthcare, electronics, new homes, cars, etc. And the consumer is responsible for 70% of the economy. That's why this statistic is so important. After COVID in 2020, consumer confidence fell off a cliff as people were very concerned about their future and their jobs. But things have almost gotten back to pre-COVID days, although not quite. But we're headed in the right direction. And the more confident people feel, the better the economy is likely to get. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available. And all of my podcasts are on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts. And while you're there, sign up for my weekly newsletter for more wealth tips for your financial freedom. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.